Hey, it's Phil with the Ghost Old Real Estate Group, powered by EXP. We're in downtown Phoenix today. This is Kevin Belzer. A very unique spot. Where exactly are we at, Kevin? Executive Towers Condominiums. Address is 207 West Clarendon, Phoenix, Arizona. All right, before heading inside this condo, let's talk about the history and the amenities of it. Very historic, great location. Yep. What can you tell us? Probably built by my second favorite architect, Al Beadle. So this was um, designed by him in 1963 and it was constructed all in one year in 1964. Recently, it got on the National Historic Registry. So this one cannot be changed. It's gonna look elegant 60, 1964 the rest of time on the outside. And one of the big things about the property itself is that it was ahead of its time. I would definitely agree. I mean, it had air conditioning, had uh, businesses on the first floor, had the social room, the gyms, the laundry, the, it had a sauna back then, and also a resort pool, which we'll get to later. Location, location, location. Yeah, this one has it, doesn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a freaking killer. So they designed this whole area to be, you know, to where you can live and work conveniently close to each other. Plus you got all the shopping and everything you can imagine. Everybody wants the Sprouts, and they want the Starbucks, and they want your Jamba Juice. Well, it's all within walking distance of the, of the property. And one of the cool things too is that Central isn't too far away, but back in the day, not too long ago, there wasn't all this building. Yeah, and you know, I was questioning what would happen with light rail, like a lot of people were, because we've seen it be good and we've seen it be bad. I think the way that Phoenix approached it was the right way. They revitalized as they went. And so as it's expanding, they're, they're revitalizing, like revitalizing, big word, all these areas. You know, so now it goes from, you know, here we're two blocks from light rail, yet it goes all the way into Mesa and it goes all the way up to Metro Center is gonna be the next stop. So it's like you can travel the whole valley, you know, you know a good portion of the valley via a little train. Awesome. And then last but not least on the location, one of the best parts about this particular location is that you're not too far away from the freeways either. You're not. Now on this one, uh, four minutes off of the I-17, pretty close. Your airport is within 15, 20 minutes tops, so that's convenient as well. Your sports. Now if you want to go see the D-backs, hit the light rail. It dumps right at the stadium. Nice. Same with the Suns. You want to see them? Yeah, you can hop on light rail and get down to the Suns too. This is probably one of the most uh, places that we've ever done where it's like literally you're central to everything literally you're literally central phoenix location and this area is going to do nothing but continue to grow in value we're inside the condo first question what floor are we on six unit c so six c awesome and then everybody wants to know stairs or elevator both Nice, so you yes. don't have to worry about that. And there's multiple elevators. It's not like one, because this is a 22-story building. There's three elevators. Nice, and then specs of the condo itself. This is a two-bedroom, two-bath, and it's 1,165 square feet, all on one level. All right, let's talk about the actual floor plan. How is it laid out, and why does it feel so spacious? Well, you got a galley kitchen right when you walk in. Plenty of storage throughout this unit as well. He has a dining room area that he has it set up as an office. And there's a great room, which we're standing in right now. Two well-sized bedrooms, two bathrooms. It's very spacious. The only difference between this unit and the three bedroom option is just another bedroom. Their great room, dining, kitchen is gonna be the same. That's the only difference between the two. All right, we are at the money part of the condo. There's not just one, there's not just two, but there's a total of how many balconies? Three, three <laughs> balconies. And this one's west facing. So you get to see the sunset in the evening and the client swears it is absolutely gorgeous. And the other two balconies, they're outside of each bedroom. So each bedroom has its own independent balcony, which is kind of cool. It's cool, but it's also very rare to buy a condo, specifically in downtown Phoenix with three balconies. Absolutely. Usually you're just gonna have the one, unless you're getting into higher floors and you know, that's, that's money. All right, let's talk about the amenities. A ton to go over. Let's start off on the bottom, the basement. What's what's down there? Yep, there is a basement. Down the basement, you have a storage area. So he does have a step, separate storage area down there. There's also coin-op laundry, because there's no laundry inside the unit, but there is laundry in the building. So it's coin-op for that. There's also a couple locker rooms down there as well and some vending machines. Awesome, can't go wrong with extra storage, especially when you have a condo. Now, as far as the first floor, as we enter that floor, what's there? 
very first thing you're gonna notice is that it's guarded, 24 hour security, perfect. And next thing after that, all the beautiful architecture on the inside, of course, you have a barbershop, you have a salon, you also have an attorney and an accountant on site on the first floor too, as well as a gym. Nice. Now, that was a ton of stuff, and one of the things that you mentioned earlier was this was one of the very first condo complexes to actually implement that. Yeah. One other thing on the first floor, we do have a social room too. Very swanky back then. They did just remodel it, and they kept the retro look to it with the furnishings and stuff. So you have that to hang out too, as well as a nice little lobby, hangout area, and a mail room too. All right, now as you exit, there's obviously sliding doors heading to the back of the condo mm -hmm. complex. How does that look like and where's the parking? Well, you have three grill areas, so perfect. You don't have to fight over a grill, you can have your own. <laughs> All right, so you get that. You got a lookout deck on the second floor that anybody can utilize too. Um, there is a designated smoking area out here, so that's, you know, if you want to keep the habit up, hey, there's that. There's also a place for bike storage right there, and it's all secured behind a gate. You have to have this little fob, this thing right here to be able to access it. And right outside that is a loading dock. Nice. So for moving furnishings in and out, whatever, they have a delivery loading dock, which is really cool, kind of unique. Well, it's unique, but it's also more convenient because a lot of times when you buy like a, a condo like this in a complex, yeah. they don't think of the, all the small stuff that they thought of. They don't. I, I honestly think they're way ahead of their time. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of the new complexes are forgetting what people really want. Or what they go through to get a yeah. piece of furniture up to the sixth floor. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Now, and you mentioned parking too. The parking is gated and secured. There's a parking deck. You get automatically one parking spot. Uh, for this unit, it's, uh, I believe, spot 333. I did have the cameraman take a picture of it so we could remember that. But you have that, and you have additional spaces available for purchase, in, in essence. Awesome, and then last but not least on the parking, there's guest parking available as well. There is, and, and a lot. Yep. Like, I've never had a struggle with it. Like, I, I don't even think 10% of the space is used, and they are looking to um, acquire additional spacing just in case. Which is big because again, being in this part of Phoenix, it's limited land. It is very limited land, yes, indeed. All right, last couple of items on the exterior. Well, we're at the spa. The spa is kept at 110 degrees, which is matching the air temperature today. Isn't that <laughs> awesome? I will not be cannonballing into this. Uh, it goes from uh, one foot to four feet. Not enough, but wait till they see the resort pool. All right, I don't want to hike it all the way upstairs for a shower. Well, no problem. There's an outdoor shower that you can rinse the chlorine and stuff off. Nice, and you might be having to use it pretty soon. I'm gonna definitely use it like, like right after <laughs> this, for sure. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. Closer, how's the water? It is like bathtub. Awesome. <laughs> it's 110 today. Um, if they want to schedule a showing, what's the easiest way to do that? Well, we do make it super simple. Okay. All they have to do is call 480-305-6688. Or, you know, they can go to our website too. It is gosoldhomes.com. And the best part, you don't have to jump in the pool to see the actual condo. If you have any questions about buying or selling, let us know. And until next time, have a great day.